Hi crochet lovers, how are you? I am Elena from Aoyama Crochet and today we'll learn how to crochet this hat in a technique called mosaic crochet. It's a technique where we can make elaborate drawings but it's very easy actually because we only need to know the two basic stitches of crochet. That's the single crochet and the double crochet. So this hat you can make it for any size from babies to adults with any material that you want, we'll talk about it later, and of course with the combination of colors that you want. We will need a medium thick yarn for a 4 to 5 millimeter hook, mine will be 5 millimeter hook, we will use scissors, a wool needle and we will be using two colors, a color A which will you notice a little bit more and a color B. So let's start with color A. We make a slip knot, we insert the hook and here we will make five chains for babies and kids and seven chains for adults. So I'll make seven chains for my woman's size and from the second chain from hook we'll make one single crochet in each available chain. We work until the end of the row. You should have six single crochet for adult sizes and four single crochet for babies and child. From now on all the rows will be one chain, we turn the work and we will look for the front loop of each single crochet. In crochet each stitch leaves us two loops on the top, we are only going to work on the front loop. There we leave the back loop free and then we work one single crochet. I go to the next one, only the front loop, single crochet and so on until we finish the whole row. 6 single crochet for adult sizes and 4 single crochet for babies and child. So this is the result, we see that the back loop remains free, one chain we turn the work and we repeat the instructions for each and every row, one single crochet in each front loop from the previous row. We are going to make a number of rows multiple of 6 until we reach the desired length for our size. So we keep crocheting row after row, we count the rows, we make sure they are a multiple of 6 until we get as close as possible to this length for each size. So I have to get to 50 centimeters more or less making rows that are a multiple of 6. So here I have my 50 centimeters in rows, multiple of 6, I made 72 rows. You can make as many rows as you need for your yarn, for your hook, the important thing here is to get to that approximate length. So when we get to that length we will close, we will make one chain, turn and we will join those two ends. So here I have the chains, here I have the single crochets, I insert a hook on the first chain, then the first single crochet and then I make a slip stitch and I continue to join both ends like this with the slip stitch, first the chain, then the single crochet behind and slip stitch. So when we're done we will turn the work inside out and we will place it like this to start working the body of the beanie. We will continue with the same color, color A, here chain 1 and if we see here in the spring we have the end of the rows, we have like a mountain or a hole, a mountain or a hole, so we will be working in the holes 
will first work in the hole where the chain is born. It's a little bit tighter, harder to see. But we will insert the hook as if it were our first hole. So we'll make two single crochets here. One. And in the same spot, two single crochet. Now we go to the next hole, which is a little more visible. And we make two single crochet as well. Next hole and two single crochets. And we are going to make two single crochet stitches in each available hole until we go all the way around. We must have the same number of stitches as we did in rows. So I made 72 rows. I will have 72 single crochet. You must have your multiple of six. I am finishing here. This is the last hole here, two single crochet. I count that I have the same number I did of rows. And then we close with a slip stitch on the first stitch we made. And that's it for round one. For round two, we are going to bring our color B. We will leave the color A here because we will use it for the next row. So with color B, we chain one and we single crochet in each back loop. Only in the back loops, remember that in crochet we have two loops, we will only be working on the back loop of each stitch. So here I have the first one, be careful because sometimes it hides a little bit. So we take only the back loop of the first stitch and we do our single crochet. We go to the next one only the back loop and we make single crochet and so we continue advancing a single crochet in each back loop. We must always have the same number of stitches so for me it's 72. Here I am finishing, I only have two stitches left to work, remember only in the back loop and to close we look for the first stitch and there we make a slip stitch. This is my round number two. For round number three we change colors. We are going to bring color A again. Chain one and we get ready to start our mosaic crochet technique. So, for this sequence we are going to make two single crochet and a double crochet. The double crochet will always fall, I'll show you. We start with two single crochet always in the back loop of the previous row. And now the double crochet that falls. So we identify the stitch where we should be working and we go two rows below and there we are going to take only the front loop to make our double crochet. So yarn over, we look for that front loop two rows below, we insert the hook and we work our double crochet. We have the double crochet that falls. Don't worry if it looks like a raised loop, later everything will fall in order. We continue with this sequence. Be careful not to work the stitch that corresponds to that double crochet. So we continue working single crochet in the back loop, one and two and then the double crochet in the front loop, two rows below. We 
this would be the sequence for this round number three always two single crochet double crochet we continue working this way until we complete the round okay we are almost done here just the last repetition of this sequence so we do those two single crochet one and two and a double crochet that falls two rows below just in the front loop very well here we will finish with a slip stitch on the first stitch of the round and that's it for round number three for next round we change colors chain one and the sequence will be as follows so we will start with a double crochet that folds we yarn over two rows below the first stitch but two rows below and there we insert the hook and we do our first double crochet then we will do three single crochet always in the back loop the single crochets and again a double crochet that folds two rows below and in the front loop so to finish this sequence we make one last single crochet and that's the sequence for this round number four we are going to repeat it I am going to do it one more time with you we start with a double crochet that folds then three single crochet then double crochet and one last single crochet so we will continue repeating this sequence until we finish the round here I am doing the two last stitches from this sequence the last one is a single crochet and we finish with a slip stitch on the first stitch that we made in this case the first stitch was a double crochet then we will change colors to start our round number five so here chain one with color A and we prepare for the following sequence one single crochet always in the back loop a double crochet the double crochet always falls two rows below then one single crochet one double crochet and two single crochet to finish this sequence one and two this would be the sequence to repeat I am going to do it one more time with you so let's remember we start with a single crochet then double crochet 
single crochet double crochet again and two single crochet to finish we will repeat this sequence until the end of the round so here I am finishing I have the last two stitches left to work to finish the round, always remember a slip stitch in the first stitch. So let's change color to start round 6. We will chain 1 with color B and we prepare to make 2 single crochets and a double crochet. So 1 single crochet on the back loop another single crochet and then the double crochet that falls this is the sequence of this round we already know it so one and two single crochet and then the double crochet that falls we continue like this until we complete the round Here I have the last three stitches to go, the last repetition of this sequence. And to finish, we already know, slip stitch on the first stitch. I change color and prepare for round number seven. In the seventh round, I chain one with color A and we prepare for the next sequence one double crochet so two rows below and in the front loop then three single crochet it is the same sequence as round four only now with color B one double crochet that falls and now a single crochet to finish the sequence this would be the sequence this is how our drawing looks and we continue then repeating until the end of the whole round here are the last two stitches I make a double crochet and a single crochet and we close with a slip stitch on the first stitch we change colors and we get ready for the round number eight we chain one and the sequence will be as follows one single crochet one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet always two rows below and two single crochet repeat the sequence until the end of the round and we close with a slip stitch we change color and we start round number nine now we chain one and we do two single crochet one double crochet one and two single crochet and then the double crochet this is a sequence that we are already familiar with so we continue two single crochet and one double crochet we 
we repeat until the end of the round. And we close with a slip stitch on the first stitch. Change color for the 10th row and start with one chain. Here we are going to do the next sequence, one single crochet, one double crochet. So this is the first time that we have to do a double crochet over a previous double crochet, but it is the same. We just go down two rows and in the front loop of that double crochet, we pass the hook and we do our double crochet. And in this way, we have like a continuation of the drawing. Now we are going to make a single crochet always on the back loop, another double crochet again on the double crochet to rows below, and then two single crochet stitches. So we continue repeating this sequence until the end of the round. Here I am doing the last three stitches. And we close with a slip stitch on the first stitch. And again we change color to color A. And this is how the color change looks on the inside of the hat. We prepare for round 11. So we chain one with color A and the sequence will be the following. So one double crochet. That will be the first stitch. Three single crochet stitches always in the back loop then one double crochet and then a single crochet this is the sequence and this is how the drawing looks so we finish this round and we close with a slip stitch. We change colors to start our round number 12. So we chain one with color B and the sequence will be as follows. We'll make two single crochet and a double crochet. It's a sequence that we know already. So one and two single crochet and a double crochet two rows below. We repeat this sequence until the end of the round. We are in round 12 and there are 14 rounds for the basic instructions. So I'm finishing round 12 with a double crochet we close with a slip stitch and again we change colors to start round number 13. Chain one and the sequence here is one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and two single crochet, always in the back loops. So this is how the drawing looks until now. We continue like this until we finish the round. Finishing with two single crochet and I close with a slip stitch. We change colors to start round 
14, which is the last round of this sequence of rounds. Then we will repeat from 3 to 14. Now, for our round 14th, the sequence will be chain 1 and then the sequence, double crochet, three single crochet, one double crochet, and a single crochet to finish the sequence. This is the sequence of round 14. We go all the way around and we close with a slip stitch. So now we are going to repeat the instructions from round 3 to round 14 until we reach the desired height for our beanie according to our size. We repeat the instructions from round 3 to round 14 until we achieve the height of the hat. We measure from the very bottom until we reach that desired height. So, here I change to color A and I start working with the instructions of round 3. Then I will make round 4, round 5 and so on. So here I am measuring, I already reached my 22 centimeters for a woman's size. So I'm going to stop here. We are going to cut the previous color about 6 centimeters length so we can hide it later. And with the last color we are going to cut it a little bit longer about 30 to 40 centimeters to be able to join the top of the beanie with it. So we cut, we remove the hook and we will place the end of the yarn in the center of the beanie. We will pull the yarn to the other side and we create like two ears. So now we pull the yarn through and we create like another two ears. In the other end we make the same and from that big ear we get two smaller ears. So we will have four ears right now. I'm going to use the wool needle to make it easier. And we are going to go through those four ears. So I go here and I create two smaller ears. Then this one. We will always repeat the same procedure the third one and the fourth one. So we will have eight smaller ears and we will go through those eight ears too. So this will be the last time we go through. It's better to count them. So one, two, three, four, five, 
five and six. Here seven. A little bit hidden and eight. Very well, here we are. All the top of my hat will be closed. And now I'm going to pass this thread in several directions to make the seam stronger. So we check that there's no ear that still needs to be closed. And I go in several directions to make it stronger. So when we think that it is enough, we can make a finish of the thread. And pass the thread inside the hat to make a finish inside and hide it. Last, we will weave in the ends to hide them inside the beanie. There you go, one is hidden. When the rest are hidden, my hat will be ready to go. Optionally, you can add a pompon to the top of the hat or leave it like this. It also looks great, I think. Well, crochet lovers, that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you put your hands to work. You know it can be made for the whole family, from babies to adults, any color, any material. I'll leave you my list of hats in case you want to take a look and I'll see you very soon in a new tutorial. Thank you very much for being here, a big hug and have a nice crochet time.